January 2020, Ukraine International Airlines Flight 752 shot down by two Iranian missiles after taking off from Tehran. Everyone on board killed, among them Hamid Esmailian's wife and daughter. Families have been fighting since for answers and accountability. This is what we asked for for three years. We need a roadmap. We need to know what's the next step. Canada has formally begun the process to hold the Iranian regime legally responsible. Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie writing on Twitter, those who lost loved ones deserve justice. Canada, the United Kingdom, Sweden and Ukraine have requested the Iranian regime enter into binding arbitration. They can do that through something called the 1971 Montreal Convention. It's an international agreement these countries have all signed on to, including Iran. It requires them to prevent attacks on airplanes and to investigate and prosecute those who carry them out. So when we have a national tragedy like this. Lawyers for the victims' families say the Iranian regime has held sham trials. All sorts of information with respect to the flight on January 8th remains shrouded in mystery. Um, I know that Canada and other countries are seeking that information and Iran has simply not cooperated in providing that information. Iran has six months to comply. Then the case can be taken to the International Court of Justice. It could require Iran to hand over documents and information. First of all, it's an international condemnation of Iran. Um, and secondly, there could be demands for proper reparations paid um, to the countries that have brought the claim forward. The families would ultimately like to see people serve prison sentences. Unlike the International Criminal Court, the International Court of Justice can't criminally prosecute individuals. But this is a step toward finding who is responsible for what happened to flight PS752. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.